I got his ass. What the fuck? <laughs> Fucking bitch! You supposed to be in the motherfucking house getting ready for school, punk motherfucker. What you got on you? Be your, what the fuck are you in the goddamn way, nigga? Man, get your little ass up out of here and get your ass in the motherfucking house. I should arrest your ass. Get the fuck up. Selling these drugs in the street. Get your ass in the goddamn house, nigga. Stupid ass motherfucking kids could get killed out here for no goddamn reason. <sighs> Hello? Yeah. Nah, it wasn't nothing. Alright, I'll be there. Damn! Another murder? It's the second one this week. This don't make no sense. I'll be there. Alright. Hey, little dude, you left your hat! Oh, stupid motherfucker. Fresh kill, fresh blood. Oh, it turns me on every time. Oh, I can't wait to get my next victim. Oh, the look in their faces when I kill them is priceless. Oh, that initial stab and that look in their eyes. Oh, that act of surprise. Babe, you know the psychiatrist will be here shortly. Listen, baby, how many times I gotta tell you? I don't need a psychiatrist. I'm normal just like everybody else. I know you are. But the psychiatrist will help you feel more normal because you don't portray that you feel normal. Listen, Veronica, I didn't been through a lot. I really have. I lost my pops.
before I met you, I lost the woman I loved. Seems to know my struggle and everything I come from. Yeah, anybody hear me? Oh, I guess I keep talking to myself. Feels like I'm going insane. Am I the one who's crazy? Oh. I never thought I could love again, but you came into my life. You showed me that it's possible. And I feel like you saved me. You saved my soul, Veronica. I believe you can save me now. I don't need a psychiatrist. I need you. But there's only so much that I can do. Lamar, with the new business and, and with school, there's no possible way that I can be the full woman that you need me to be. Maybe I'm being too selfish. Maybe I'm. Are you sure the psychiatrist will be able to help me? She'll be able to help both of us. It's for we. It's for us. But you know my alcohol addiction. You know my PTSD. You know the demons that I have to face every day. I wake up in cold sweats. I can't even sleep right. This is a psychiatrist that specializes in things like that. She has a lot of experience. We'll be just fine. Are you sure about that? I'll be here with you. I'm not going to give up on you. Listen, please don't. Please don't because I feel like my soul is broken. And even though you are the missing piece to my heart, you are everything I truly love. I just don't feel like I could be put back together again. You can be. We're gonna make it through this together. I know we will. I, I, I promise you this. With my alcohol addiction, with everything going on, the PTSD, I must not promise to just I'll see the psychiatrist. And I'll also, I'll also start taking my pills, baby. I think that would help so much. I love you. Okay.
Lamar, are you fucking serious right now? What? The really? What the? F Seriously? <laughs> this thing is still fucking full. All the things that I had to do just to get this fucking medication. You know how expensive this shit is. And you're not even gonna fucking take it. All the things we're going through. You're still drinking. You can't even take the fucking pills while you're drinking. You already know the doctor said all the reactions that would happen. You're, that's why you would fucking have a backlash and do shit like that. That's why you don't want the fucking psychiatrist to show down, up. Please. Don't tell me to fucking calm down. Listen, you're drinking. You're still fucking drinking. Are you serious right now? Down, no, everything that we've done, everything that we've been through, this is why you would have a relapse. That's why you don't want the fucking psychiatrist to come because you're still drinking and you haven't been taking your fucking pills. Listen, Seriously? Listen, Veronica, calm down. I love you. Please calm down. I, I need something to cope with the pain. Is it like you're here? You're never here. That's you're why I'm getting the food. psychiatrist. See, now, now you're proving my fucking point. And don't you yell at me like you've been doing something right. This is wrong. I had to pawn my wedding ring for this. Don't you remember everything that we've been through? I can't deal with this stress. It's just, it's too much. I thought you loved me. I do, I do, I do. I, Look what you're doing to us. Listen, we have kids, Veronica. So aren't you afraid to relapse? Aren't you afraid to go back and have, have an episode? Anything can happen. I don't want you out here on these streets, okay? I don't need you to be lost, okay? Okay. Everything that we've worked for, do not throw it away, okay? Or I promise you, I will be done. I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm gonna be here only if you show effort. I cannot do this by myself. You have a family, Veronica. Okay. Please. Please. So just prove to me that you love our family, okay? Please. Listen, I find my do this for me, okay? I will. I will. I will, I will take, I'll take the pills. I'll do everything I need to do. I'll do anything I fucking need to do. Stop Just drinking first, it. right? So you can go pour this out? I'll pour it out right now. I'll, I'll, matter, I'll, matter of fact, I'll pour it out right now. What are you doing? Oh my God. Go pour it in the fucking sink. Who's gonna clean it up? Not you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's like we get to a point and then it's... I'm gonna calm down. Just go go to the kitchen and grab me a towel, please. Yes, hello? Hi, um... Yes, yes, this is she. I was just making sure that you were still gonna make it today to the in-home appointment. Oh yes, thank you so very much. Yes, I can really use your help. We need to get to the bottom of this issue so that we can just solve it. We need some help, please. Thank you so much, Mrs. Smith. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Yes, yes, see you later. Okay, bye. Going to see my favorite guest today. This should be fun. Pretty funny that his wife calls me on the phone all crying and boo-hooing and oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to handle his emotions. Yeah, well, I know how to handle his emotions. I can get his emotions in check real quick. She could learn a thing or two from me. Bitch doesn't deserve him anyway. I deserve him. She won't even see what's coming. Neither one of them have any idea what's in store for them. No clue. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, Veronica. I'm so glad you can make it. 
Hey, hey, hey. We just had an episode. I wish we were okay. Okay, okay. Veronica. He's not taking his medication. He's been drinking again. I just, I'm so scared he's going to have a relapse. I just don't know what to do. Okay, Veronica, first I'm going to need you to calm down, okay? Okay. I can't make sense of anything if you're just going to be coming at me rambling like that, okay? Okay. Please, just slow down. Start from the beginning. Tell me what happened. Okay, you know the pills that you prescribe I him do. to yes. make sure he doesn't have a psychotic break? Well, yes. he's been skipping out on taking them, and he's been drinking again, and he promised that he wasn't, and he's been kind of like really snappy, you know, just not as helpful as usual. I mean... Look, Veronica, if he's not taking the medication, he's going to be snippy. He's going to have a lot of I mood I know, swings. and I'm just... I don't want him to have a psychotic break, and I'm already late for class. Uh, this hair school thing is just driving me crazy. I mean... Look, it's, Veronica, you go on to How class. am I supposed to do this all you, at one you time? Go on to, I really need your help. Listen. Please, just whatever you can do, help us, please. I don't Veronica, want our marriage to end. Okay? Veronica, hey, listen listen to me, okay? Just, just listen to me for a minute, okay, sweetie? I know that you're having a rough time right now, and I know that you have a little one on the way. Yeah. Okay, so for, you need to calm down. You have to take care of yourself. Yeah, you have I'm to just, take care of the baby. I'm trying to be stress-free. And stress you guys free. have several other kids that you need to be concerned about, Okay. So listen, I'm going to handle this situation right now with Lamar for you. You go on off to school. Okay. I'm going to have a nice conversation with him and try to hash this out. We'll figure out why he's not taking his meds, why he's drinking again. Please. Okay? Because I just, I can't take this. Listen to me, sweetheart. Listen to me, okay? I got this. I got you covered, okay? Okay. Just... Listen, you got to stop getting so upset, sweetheart. If I care you just, about you If both. you would have seen him, it's just, he thought he was right. You know what? When I was correcting him, that is... It's so Don't hard men to deal always with. think they're right, though, sweetheart? Yeah, they do. Listen, you can't blame yourself. You're not responsible for this. He has to take responsibility for himself. You're right. Okay? I hope that you can help him see. I know he's struggling where I'm and he's having from. a difficult time, yeah. but he really needs us to ride his butt right now, okay? And I'm here to do that, okay? Okay. And I'm going to take some of this anxiety and some of this burden off of you, so don't you worry. I got this, okay? Thank you so much, Miss right. Smith. You need to go on to school, oh, yeah. and I'm going to go inside the apartment, and I'm going to have a nice talk with Lamar, okay? Okay. All right, sweetheart, you go, and I'll take care of this. Okay. okay, I'll give you a call so we can schedule our next time, okay? All right, hon, you give me a call later and touch base with me, and I'll talk to you about Lamar's visit, okay? Okay, thank All you. Right. you have a great day. <laughs> you too. All right, sweetheart. They're so vulnerable right now. Both of them, they're so vulnerable. She's vulnerable. He's definitely vulnerable. This is gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna have such a good time with this. God, she's so weak. She's pathetic. God, what a whiny ass little bitch she is. God, bitch can't even suck it up. Jesus. I'm going to get him, and then I'm going to get her. Bitch ain't even going to see what's coming.
things I'm going to do to you. You have no idea. You're so beautiful. It's going to be such a waste to kill you. Look who's finally awake. What the hell is going on? Hi, Lamar. Hey, who the... Mrs. Smith? What the hell, how the hell did you get in? Your wife was leaving for school and she let me in. What the hell? It's, it, it was time for our visit 15 minutes ago, Lamar. How long have you been here? I've been here for about 10 minutes, Lamar, and you've been laying there sleeping. What the hell is... What's going on with you, Lamar? I'm fine. I'm You're obviously not fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't know why my wife didn't even suggest I need a psychiatrist. Oh my God, Lamar! <laughs> Come on, let me let me help you to the couch. I don't need your help. I'm here to help you. That's my job. I don't need a psychiatrist. You do need I a psychiatrist. I'm perfectly fine with my wife. I love my wife. Look, Lamar. And we, we can work this out together. We don't need you. Look, Lamar. Things are not fine with your wife. Things are not fine with your family. And things are not fine with you. Okay. Okay? And the sooner you accept that and accept my help, the sooner we can start moving things forward a little bit instead of backwards. Listen, you, listen, you don't care about me. I do. All, all you care about is the money and the Lamar, paycheck you're going to get. You Lamar, don't care. Listen you to know, me. Get out of my house. I'm not leaving. It is my job to be here for you. I it said is my get job. out of my house. No, I'm We don't not need leaving. you. I'm not leaving, Lamar. I need to help you and you need my help. That's my job, okay? So why don't you get up off your ass, get your ass back over there on that couch, and let's start doing something to help you, okay? You're not helping yourself right now, okay? Can you help me up? Yes, let's, at least. let's get you to the couch, okay? Come on. Okay. You're fine. Let's go. Come on. I got you, Lamar. You're fine. You're fine. Now back it up. Can I, can I answer my phone? Somebody's calling me. It's probably my wife. Listen to me. Listen. It's, it's probably me. my wife calling me. Sit down, Lamar. Sit. Can I, can I talk to my wife? No, it's not your wife right now, okay? Your wife, I heard the phone ringing. You might hear your phone, but it, your wife left to go to school, okay? She has class tonight. It's not her calling. So your you're... wife called me all upset because you guys had an argument. You had a blowout. You're not taking your pills, she tells me. She tells me you've gone back to drinking alcohol again. Now, I did not prescribe you these pills for you to, number one, not take them, Lamar. And number two, for you to drink alcohol. You can't take the pills and drink alcohol. You can't mix them. So are you choosing alcohol over taking the pills? I'm choosing what's best for me. That's a, My okay. wife is never here. You know what? You're not choosing what's best for you. Okay? You're not. No matter what you think, your thought process is not working right. It's not best for your wife, it's not best for your family, and it's not best for you. You're screwing things up right now, Lamar. Listen, Smith. I'm gonna tell it to you straight. You don't give a fuck about me. You don't know what I've been through. The shit I've seen in the war. The, the, the fucking people I lost that I cared about. really know me I would like to know you I can't okay. get, I can't get to know you unless you open up to me and talk to me on our visits Lamar we've had several visits already and you give me nothing but attitude I don't trust you you know what you're gonna learn to trust me because right now I'm the only one that can help you and your wife now do you want your marriage to fail no. Do you want everything around you to fall apart? No, I love Veronica. And she loves you or she wouldn't have called me. 
She wouldn't have called me crying and upset and frantic and asking me to please come over and to see you. And I actually came early for this visit because I knew she needed to leave for school. You know what? You can be like that and be off-putting all you want to. But you and I are going to get to be friends and you're going to get to tell me and open up to me and tell me things that you never thought you'd be able to tell anyone. Okay? Your wife doesn't need to know about these things that are bothering you. Your job doesn't need to know about any of these things that are bothering you. Our visits and everything you say to me, Lamar, is confidential. I am not allowed by law to tell anyone what you say to me, not even your wife. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. So this is an opportunity for you to share and for you to start the process of healing. Can you, can you tell me something? What do you want to know? I love my wife. She's the heart. She's my rock. And at times I just still have these memories. I, I just still feel isolated. I still somewhat feel alone. I have a wife and kids. I have a baby on the way. Wow. And I'm going through all this. How can I, how can I be even uh, be a fighter to my child when I'm not even mentally right in the head? Sometimes I think killing myself is the only way it's out. It's not the only way out, okay? First, Are you sure? first of all, the world would be better off I'm without me. No, listen, Lamar, I'm positive. The world would not be better off without you, okay? And you mean to tell me these fucking pills that you you're you're giving me that's gonna help? It is gonna help. You just have to take them. You're not even giving them a chance. You won't even take them long enough. Because I'm normal, hard. just like everybody else. Okay, everybody else doesn't blow up like this and scream at their at their psychiatrist. Everybody else doesn't blow up and scream at their wife and make excuses for it. Okay, stop making excuses. You're full of excuses. It's time to stop making excuses and be accountable for what's going on in your head. Now, not a problem. Okay, you know what we need to start with on this visit. We need to start with the fact that I observed you for 10 minutes napping or passed out on this couch, whichever one the case may be, and you were tossing and turning. You were crying out in your sleep. You were obviously having terrifying dreams that were scaring you. Now, can you at least give me a little insight into what your dreams are about? And maybe we can start to tackle your problems? I will. You will win. Right now. Okay. Then tell me what you were just dreaming about a little bit ago because obviously it was bothering you. Come on, Lamar. I'll let you know. You need to stop wasting my time. I'll let you know. Listen, Lamar. I was... No matter what listen, you think, I care. Listen, I was... 10 years ago, I was in a war in Afghanistan. And I witnessed my whole crew get killed. My sergeant, everything. I witnessed women and children die right in front of my face. And I wonder why it couldn't be me. Why couldn't it be me? I was trying to kill. I was trying to kill. And I see all these people die and the army is just putting all these in images in my head of death, death, death. And I finally come back home. As a veteran, as a war hero, and I'm fucked up mentally in the head. I don't have nowhere to go. That's because you think no one cares, and we do. I care, Lamar. You think the fucking government cares? Why am I like this? Like, why? 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 Why do I keep okay. having these visions? First of all, Lamar, you have suffered some severe traumatic events, okay? And anyone that suffers these kind of events is going to have what you have. PTSD is a real thing, okay? It's called post-traumatic stress disorder for a reason, okay? You weren't feeling all of these emotions at the time. You were locking them away in your mind somewhere, and now that you're home, and you, you're not off fighting in a war, you have to learn how to first get through your emotions and once you can get through those and get them all exposed out on the table, then we can start tackling them one at a time and dealing with them. But if you're not willing to share with me, Lamar, then it's gonna be very difficult for me to help you through this process. Can you tell me why I suffered through this depression? Can you tell me why my father had to pass away. Why did he have to leave me alone in 
this cold world. Lamar. Can you tell me that? Why? We... Am I selfish to want him back? No, it's not selfish. Am I crazy? No, you're not crazy. We all lose people that we love and care about. It's part of the grieving process, okay? But you have to learn to accept it, and you have to move forward. Is there a God? That you'll have to decide for yourself, okay? As your psychiatrist, I am not your pastor, okay? <laughs> you want to know about God, you're going to have to ask someone else. <laughs> yeah. I think everything's going to be all right. I think you're going to be just fine, Lamar. I think if you work with me, I think we can get a lot of this figured out together. Don't you think so? I think so. I think so, too. Wake your ass up, boy. Got a few questions to ask you about a murder. Where were you last Friday? I don't even know. I don't even know what you're talking about. Did you see any suspicious activities going on? Uh, nope. Not that I know of. I heard you were spotted in the area where the murder took place. Did you have anything to do with that? Nope. You don't know nothing about it. Mm-mm. I tell you. Why are you always fucking with me, man? Man, cause you're always on the scene. You need to stay a little ass out the streets before you become the next victim. Because there's a psychotic serial killer out on the loose. And I'm just, you know, making you aware of it so you can stay your butt out the streets. So, if you hear anything or see anything, you call me immediately. You understand? I got you, boss. Get your little ass up out of here and go home somewhere. Little dumb now, little dude. Nah. I ain't got time to be nobody's mama today. Hey girl, you know I'm gonna have to call you back. I gotta get back to this one. Man, you telling me? Man, look at look at all that. Look at this one. Look at this shit, man. Look, 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 oh like, my look. God, look, 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 man. All my friends are dead. Man, all about the Benjamins, baby. Hey, all about the Benjamins, baby. All about the Benjamins, baby. Look at that. Ben motherfucking Franklin. God nah. damn, Andrew Jackson. You pretty okay. see Andrew Jackson that he's supposed to be all Benjamin, man. Fuck. Listen, 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 Andrew. Man, oh, no, 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 this ain't man, look at that. That's like that's, Chinese money, man. Don't nobody. That's that's uh rent right there. Where? Man, look I at thought this. I saw a twenty in this motherfucker. Man, it better not be no twenties, man. They bullshit, man. Who are you with these stupid ass drug bust with a twenty? Go to Andrew Jackson right there. Them some dumbass criminals, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, though. Know, I'm glad we this busted them motherfuckers, boy. I had to crack eggs, like you know what I'm saying. Hard broiled eggs. Man, and I had to get out the fucking car this time and help your ass, man. You know. I'm glad you had my back. Oh yeah. I would handle it though, but you know, the motherfucker's kind of chunky, you know. Hell yeah, man. I had to get out of the car and beat his ass, man. You know, I had to crack his skull one time. You know, I just had to uh, knock his fat ass out. You know. Shit looking like a big ass po' boy from Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, trying man. to take me down, man. Yeah, Jimmy, you see his ass was all trying to wrestle us and shit like we was WWE I, 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 see, shit. I see why he was fighting for his life, shit. He didn't want this money. He probably had to take it to his, his boy, but... Man, that nigga was probably trying to open up a fucking donut shop with his chunky ass. Man, look at this shit. Damn. What you think, what you think uh, Captain gonna say about this shit? Man, Captain ain't gonna say nothing, man. She told... That man, she told me she was gonna give me my fucking raise. After this bust, man, she told me. She had said... No, what she had said was... I heard her correctly. If y'all make the next bus, you get to get your raise. Where's Officer Long and Jimmy at? God damn. Can't even keep up with their dumb asses. She said that. She said, Jody, you get to get your fucking raise. And you know what? I'm getting my fucking raise um, right now. Listen, I don't know what we're going to tell her when, when she find out there wasn't no bus or nothing. Because shit, we taking all of this. Hell yeah. I might leave a dollar or so. Like, yeah, we bust that nigga with six bucks. And right. Pocket. But you know, she going she gonna to look at that shit and be like, 
Y'all just went out for a bus for a dollar? What kind of stupid asses are y'all? You know how she talked to us. She talked to us like we ain't got no fucking class. This is more than the raise right here, shit. Man, this is better than what the taxpayers this give us. Is, this is like my yearly salary in this motherfucker. Boy, who you telling? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Call Officer Johnny. I know he's gonna pick up. He's already on the drug bus anyway. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Sophisticated ratchet bitch with a sassy lips Walk around switching with her thighs Send her ass and hips equipped with a bag of tricks So men want it in the mix Turn them in in the tricks Plus she know she get a kick Tricking off a dollar if it's yo doe holler Took her to the mall she becomes a visual shopper She never had a captain So what happened when you saved the hoe Hopping out the bins with the bitch And she steady broke but you steady give it yo Pay to see a lingerie You ain't even know she got a pimp That's a place to stay Why you think she stay in pocket, pussy like electric socks. Got your mind electrified to infiltrate your eye sockets. Yeah, you think you play it? Man, she do it better. Michael Jackson moonwalk, that smooth talk brings the cheddar. I don't even know why dudes find the Cinderella's in the club or in the streets. Oh my god, where the fuck are they? I need to fire their dumb asses. Captain, yeah, you I call me. Uh, Captain, I just want to let you know I need to put in my two weeks. Cause uh, I got money. I came into some shit. Bye. Oh hell no, nah, man! Don't be calling the captain saying, "Did you, you did you really just call her no. and tell her we was gonna quit?" I was talking to my dead friends. Oh. You know, I'll get my speech ready. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, man, you better not be calling the captain on this one, man. You always calling the fucking captain, and talking to her stupid ass, man. Shit, she ain't got. Especially with me, she ain't got no respect for me. She always think I'm the dumb one, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Where the fuck is Officer Long? Nigga with those big ass glasses can't see shit. And that country ass black boy, Jimmy. I always gotta talk like he from the South. Yeah. Old ass Johnny. I don't even know why he's on the force. Nigga so old, he probably can't run and chase no damn body. So what's Look the next it. case? What's the next case? I told you. The next <laughs> case is that Miss Smith chick, bro. They say she's local, bro. No idea. She's like she's one of the serial killer. Like she a female Jason X, bro. She gonna be coming at us in all kind of ways, bro. And she a mental patient on, on crap, bro. She yes, that sounds like a meth head to me, man. I thought you was talking about somebody more serious, like Griselda Blanco. It was a, like a whole drug organization cartel type of thing. Nah, man. And also for real bullshit, Jimmy, man. They say this chick is the real deal, man. I joke a lot about a lot of shit, but they say this chick, she, she. Man, she be recruiting and she be posing as characters, bro. And her biggest con is she's a psychiatrist, bro. What? She she really with the shit, bro. You yeah, don't have all work. This is all that bullshit. Well, what are you talking about? This is Get Out or something? You talking about a movie, man? No, 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 like, no, man. I'm not bullshitting with you, man. I'm not talking about no movie, man. I'm talking about this bitch really be recruiting motherfuckers like a cult, and she got motherfuckers following her ass, and she suck their ass into that little. Crack coochie or whatever it is she doing to them motherfuckers over there and motherfuckers be coming to miss and fucking with that bitch. It sound like a pussy whip and then she probably luring them into the death. No, Make no. Make it cross seas. No, no pussy whip. You sure? The bitch is evil. I seen her picture the other day when I was at the station in the precinct. I meant, to, I meant to tell you and I seen it. Crazy psychotic bitch. Look crazy. Oh. Mm -mm. So she's posing as a psychiatrist. Man, it's good to see you, bro. I'm glad you got to pull up and everything, man. Oh, 
bro. Man. It's been a minute, man. Fucking okay, thugged out, bro. Hey, I'm oh, it. Still, you still keep it in shape, man. My, oh, ass, bro, my ass left that shit. And I was just like, I'm cool afterwards. I've just been relaxing, bro, you know, man. You know the going in. Man, for real. And then on top of that, you cut your hair too, bro. I was just oh, like, dang. Man, it's... Man, I, you got more hair than me still. I do. <laughs> I just went through a change, man, for a while. I went through a deep depression. And my wife hired me a psychiatrist, Mrs. Smith. And believe me, man, she's been helping me out so much, making me feel real good about it. She's amazing, man. At first, I didn't trust her too much. But now, man, she's, she's really there for me, man. And I'm taking my pills. I'm doing good, bro. Because you know the military had me all fucked up, man. Shit, who you telling, uh, man? Bro, with the PTSD, all, all the shit. You remember shit. the shit we went through? I mean, outside the good times when we was actually, and we had to cover each other's ass on oh everything. Oh, my God, bro. So much death. And everything. Oh, my God. The, the murders and, shoot. Dude, they really fucked I ain't gonna lie. I, I was kind of cool with a couple of the murders, you know what I'm saying? With the whole oh. We had to do what we, we had, had to do. do. We had they to trained do. us to kill. Exactly. And then they just, we came home, we came back kind of fuck. I mean, came you came back cool. with nothing. Yeah, bro. You came back with nothing, you know what I'm saying? You came back with either with your family, me, bro. you know what I'm saying? Outside of some of my friends and family that's not in jail, yes. you know? Like, I just really had nothing left for me coming back for real. But, right. you know, I had to make the best out of everything, you know what I'm it, saying? It's all good. I mean, we, we had to make the best of it, man. I do. I'm telling you, man, I turned into an alcoholic, everything. And if it wasn't for my wife, Veronica, dude, just sticking there with me, like being there for me, I don't know what I would do, bro. So I, I thank God for Veronica. And you know, she just had her baby, too. Congrats. I'm a father, man. Oh, my God. Congrats, I'm a father. Bro. I mean, she was about to blow up. I wasn't saying let's toast it up, but uh, he wants some water. <laughs> yeah, I'll take some water. I mean, no, I don't need no more drink. Uh, man, she really yeah. willed me off to drink. And after the psychologist came, Mr. Smith, Man, everything's been good. Life is good, bro. Pretty funny that his wife calls me on the phone all crying and boo-hooing. And, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to handle his emotions. Yeah, well, I know how to handle his emotions. I can get his emotions in check real quick. She could learn a thing or two from me. Damn! Another murder? It's the second one this week. Business and and with school, there's no possible way that I can be the full woman that you need me to be. Things I'm gonna do to you, you have no idea. You're drinking. You're still fucking drinking. Are you serious right now? No, everything that we've done, everything that we've been through, this is why you would have a relapse. That's why you don't want the fuck. more drink uh man she really willed me off to drink and after the psychologist came mr smith man everything's been good life is good bro say trust can get you killed the more you can put your trust in the people the more they can hurt you i put my trust in mr smith not knowing the evil that lurks within up her words and her gentle spirit quietly crept inside my soul I felt loved and I felt like Mrs. Smith could actually help me with my problems I was excited I really was I felt like I was turning into a different person
turns out Smith was a cold blooded killer. I had what? I had no idea. I was blinded. Blinded. You know the devil can come to you when you got your most vulnerable, weakest state. Disguised as an angel. We all seek help from drug addiction to alcohol. Any way that we could try to hide that pain or that addiction, we use it in a way that's killing ourselves. So when my wife hired me the psychiatrist, at first I was hesitant, but I knew Mrs. Smith was the only one that could help me. So I let my guard down. And that was the biggest mistake of my life.